Thea pulling out guns out of her panties and whatnot. And then in the very next scene, it'll be so such a tragic damn scene where somebody gets raped and you find out they were molested and then they get shot in the back of the head. The very next scene! I don't like that. I need more of a buffer. <laughs> I need more of a buffer in my movies between emotions. Right, one of uh, one damn scene, you 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 so high and you laugh and you having a good time. You, you, go back and look at what I'm telling you. All right, and then the very next scene, Janet Jackson had five abortions and she she was married three other times in another life, and her husband leaving her for a white woman. <laughs> right, right. And so I, I got I got tired of that. I ain't been to a Tyler Perry movie in the movie theater since, I don't know, probably eight, nine years. I can't tell you the last time I've seen. I support him now. I support him. Uh, but I can't I can't go to the movie theater. I'll watch the movies. I'll tell people to go and check them out and support them. But I, I can't. I just can't do Tyler Perry movies no more. Good luck to the brother. But I just can't. <laughs> From Sidney Jackson, Doug says, you'll be bipolar after watching Tyler Perry movies. Exactly. From Tiffany, Pool and Pool, and Tyler Perry stuff is low-hanging fruit. Only projects I cared are, or why did I get married films. Pretty good. Pretty good. And really, the why do I get married films, Um, those are my boy uh, from Rain Tree. Uh, what's his name? I can't remember his name right now. But he, he used to come on the stews every once in a while. And he used to produce uh, those films or whatever. From Grego, shaking my head, I see a cat with those long tights NBA players wear with shorts on. Top sagging at about a whole level, ATL. I'm not sure what he's talking about. From Sidney Jackson, I'm not mad at Tyler. He give a lot of uh, out of a lot of work to Ninja's work that Hollywood tends to overlook. Yeah, that's true. But also, there's a lot of people that talk bad about Tyler Perry and his hiring practices and how he does actors and how he didn't want to pay actors. Allegedly, I don't I don't know the details of that. But there's also that side. Like, there's a uh, black actors union here in Atlanta that at one point, man, was railing against dude about how unfair he treats people, how he doesn't want to pay people. Once again, that's just something I heard reading online somewhere or whatever. I don't know the full details. Um, Very proud. This man, if you don't know, Tyler Perry's got his studios in Atlanta, which are nine times out of ten are going to be, you know, TV studios in L.A. or in New York. And this man owns like, I don't know, a couple of hundred acres and has this this huge production company and they make movies on this in this place or whatever. Um, and he employs a lot of people. Uh, so I, I'm not mad at him. I'm not mad at him doing something that traditionally is, hadn't been done. But not that much of a fan of the movies that he does, to be honest with you. From... Um, uh, loose neck, open for business side. Doug thinks Medea is real and Tyre Perry is a character. <laughs> Cornelia Small, I think so. Roger Bob is one of the main producers uh, from Bro McDowell's. Not a huge fan, but his plays are better than his movies. So I've been to, uh, when he first got big, I've been to a couple of uh, the Medea movies or, or plays here in Atlanta. Uh, this was years ago. I'm going to say over 10 years ago, downtown at the um, at the Fox. And they were good. I mean, they, they they were hilarious. Once again, Medea is funny as shit. You know, any old black lady pulling out a pistol out of her, her bloomers is funny. I don't care how you look at it. It's funny. And so that's funny, but that kind of wears on you after a little while. And then once again, the highs and the lows in his damn productions are just too much for me to handle. Uh, that's not good for my blood pressure. Fail pay. Tyler Perry movies are like Lifetime movies. The dude is always some slum bag. All right. Mr. Harper, VP of Ninjaville. Tyler Perry was mad as hell at Aaron Magruder for the Boondocks episode they did about him. <laughs> Says the accuracy had him livid. That's funny. From Cornelia Small, Tyler Perry bought a big chunk of the military base. That's right. What was it? Fort? Is it Fort Gordon? I think it was that closed down. And he bought a big chunk of that military base and set up, I don't know, Tyler Perry World or whatever they call it. From Wody 504, I've been to a half a dozen of them plays, love them, hate the Medea movies, though. 
Right. I think that I am more apt to go see a play of his than, like, I'm definitely not going to see a movie. Like, I'm just not going to spend $25 to go see a movie, and that's pretty much what it costs when you go see a movie these days. If you want to get a damn soda and a popcorn, you're going to end up spending $25. So I'm very selective in what I go and see in the movie theater. And when I do go in the movie theater, I, it's always on $5 Tuesday. Yeah. Thanks for calling the Doug Stewart Show. What's your name? Where you calling from? What you want to talk about? The angry black man calling from Tampa. Angry black man calling from Tampa. Good morning, sir. How are you? Hey, good morning, sir, man. I'm freezing, brother, man. These colonizers got the air conditioning on 42 in the office. So I stepped out for a second. So, um, so, so in your office, they got the Darren temperature, temperature down to 42. That's why you angry today, huh? Yes, sir. I, I got a jacket. I got a winter jacket in there, man. I'm in Tampa, man. That's how cold it is. That's crazy. That's crazy. All right, so, uh, you got a sports take or you just want some of this trivia? I want some of this trivia. Let me ask you first, is it possible I can get that, uh, that reused question to Dusty Baker, first team he played for a question? No, sir. You cannot get that. All right, I'll take basketball. All right, basketball for 500, Alex. Um, what player – oh, this is perfect. What player did the Boston Celtics draft between one loss seasons of 29 and 53 and 61 and 21? Larry Bird. Oh, you got it! That was yeah. Easy. You remember – now, you remember during the time when they drafted Larry Bird, they actually drafted him a year earlier, and he played another year at Indiana, and they just basically put him on the shelf. And he played for the Boston Celtics two years later. You remember that, right? Yeah, he played for Indiana State, man. Don't be shortchanging the uh, mid-majors, Missouri <laughs> Valley Conference, man. That's where I played at. That's what's up. So what, what school did you play for? I remember you telling me this before. Uh, Southern Illinois. Southern Illinois. That's what's up. The Salukis, right? Yes, sir. That's what's up. All right, angry black man, stop being so damn angry. Thank you for the call. Thank you for the call, brother. Damn gun jam the first time. Uh, but, yeah, so angry black man played college basketball, and he's, he's, he's angry. And uh, he's right. Larry Bird did play for Indiana State. The hick from French Lick. Indiana. Uh, 404-382-0338. We got time for maybe one more call, one more trivia question before we get the hell out of here. Uh, got to go see a man about a horse. But another fun show today, man. This is what we do around here. If you're new to the Doug Stewart Show, this is what we do around here. We have fun. We talk a lot of shit. Barbershop, sports talk. Uh, people agree with me. People disagree with me. They hate LeBron James. I love LeBron James. I love Dwight Howard. I hate Dwight Howard. And that's a normal day on the Doug Stewart Show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, Carla, thanks for calling the Doug Stewart Show. What's your name? Where you calling from? What you want to talk about? This is Daryl from Maryland. Daryl from Maryland. Good morning, brother. Or good afternoon. It's after 12 o'clock. How you doing today? I'm good. What's happening? You got a uh, <laughs> you got a sports take, or you just want to jump on this trivia before we get the hell out of here? Let me get that trivia before we get the hell out of here. All right, which kind you want? Baseball, basketball, football, boxing, or entertainment? What's your entertainment? All right, so entertainment. Uh, what was Tupac's first album called? Mm, we don't have all day, sir. We don't have all day, sir. It was Tupacalypse Now. How did you not know that? The great Tupacalypse Now. The great Tupacalypse Now, man, but uh, a good try. Not really a good try because you didn't didn't even respond to work. Uh, We got time for another call? Nah, I got to go see a man about a horse. When Tupac was around, he wanted to raise a nation of thugs. Yes, sir. But uh, I 
think it's only right for me to raise a nation of bruh. Yeah! Frank Cole, and it's just. Hey, thank you for joining me today on the Doug Stewart Show. Shouts out to my producers, Waterhead Walter, Poe Politicking, Brandon Butler, uh, the consultant, Dwayne Bazan, or Bazan, Gerald Oliveri, my engineers, uh, who else? John Gornfeld, the web guy, and a special shout out to all of the Stewies. Without you, there is no me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I want y'all to hear this part of the song here. This is my favorite part of the song. Hold on. Out the room, I had purple dreams. Schizo, they're my line name. Yeah, yeah. Schizo. Shout out to my man Pink Gator for this hot-ass track. All right, so coming up next, Jeff Fox, straight to you from Miami, Florida, live right here on WSME. And then he's followed at 2 p.m. by John Fisher. Patty cake, patty cake. Cooking with the microwave. All right, 2 p.m. Eastern time. Later on this evening, we've got the Wait a Minute show. I forgot to mention this earlier. Special time today. Jelani, my man Jelani with the Wait a Minute show. 7 p.m. Eastern time today. So tune in. 1 p.m. Jay Fox, John Fisher, 2 p.m. Jelani and the Wait a Minute show at 7. We'll be back tomorrow. Same Doug Stewart time. Same Doug Stewart channel. Be careful in them streets. Peace. When Tupac was around, he wanted to raise a nation of thugs. But uh, I think it's only right for me to raise a nation of bros. Frank Cole, Ernest Jess, Oscar Cooper. Edgar Lux, four founders, sons of blood and thunder. I'm wrecking for the cue, I know it make you wanna. Frank Coleman, Ernest Jess, Oscar Cooper, Edgar Lux, four founders, sons of blood and thunder. I'm wrecking for the cue, I know it make you wanna. I'm always in the queue, but you ain't know. I'm resolute to the boot, she don't give me though. In that pack over there, that my dog team. My dog Before team. I came out the womb, I had purple dreams. Skip toe, that my line name. Line name. And ate a mule, huh. that my chain game. Chain game. From my yard, my yard. to any yard. Any I yard. put that on my life, the cues going hard. A whole nation full of bros. Full of bros. Do your duty, do that. Lift it up. This ain't about yourself, no. ain't about your kids no. Jail as a unit, yeah. and we gon' run the ship uh. The greatest threat on the planet Earth planet But make no mistake, God, I put you first See, I know my place, know my place. and I stand my ground Cues in the sky, we gon' hold it down